What's up guys, welcome to Snakes and Trails Season 3. My name's Tyler Carlson and today we're out here in central New Mexico looking for the Desert Massasauga, Cistrurus catenatus edwards eye. It should be a really, really fun time and I haven't seen any yet this year. Um, so I'm excited to get cruising and see what we can find. Alright guys, so I'm going out to one of my favorite places to look for snakes in my home county. Um, and what I'm doing is just road cruising. So I go out on desert back roads at night and drive back and forth and back and forth and back and forth looking for snakes. Um, it's one of the more productive ways to find snakes, but it's also it's kind of like one of the laziest ways to find snakes. Um, anyway, I'm excited to see what we get to find tonight. It should be a good time and uh, yeah, I'll show you whatever we find. All right, guys, here's my first snake of the night. It's a glossy snake, Arizona Elegans. Uh, not too long ago with my friend Brian, we found a huge one of these guys. So anyway, I'm gonna get him off the road and get some pictures of him and we'll get going. All right, guys, here's another look at this glossy snake we found. They're really cool little snakes and this is about an average size adult that I'll find. You can see he's pretty skinny, uh, got a white belly and uh, Kind of like a patterned back. They call them glossy snakes because they have smooth scales instead of keeled scales. Anyway though, the reason I came out here tonight was to photograph this beast of a glossy snake that I found with my friend Brian the other night. So check this out in comparison. This is an adult glossy. This might as well be a boa. This is a giant glossy snake that my friend Brian and I found the other night. Um, and I wanted to take him out here because there's much less traffic out here. There's a lot less cars. It's a much safer place to let him go. But look at the difference between these two snakes. It's absolutely insane how fat this guy is. Anyway, I'm gonna get some photos of this big guy and uh, a little bit more footage of the little one for you and we'll let it go. Pretty cool, I'm super excited that Brian and I cruised this right in the middle of town, it was crazy. Alright guys, here's my next snake for the night. This is a long-nosed snake, Rhinochilus leconte. Um, they're really cool. They're kind of tri-colored. They have red and black blocks on their white background. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this guy off the road and keep going and I'll take some pictures of him. Pretty cool. Alright guys, here's another look at this cool little long-nosed snake, Rhinochilus leconte. And these guys are really neat snakes. Um, but I usually joke around that they are consolation prize snakes because on cold nights when you're not seeing anything You usually get lucky enough and one of these will cross the road um, Anyway, pretty cool to find. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Get some more footage of him for you guys and let him go Well guys, about the worst thing happened that can happen while you're out targeting a specific species, and that's that I found it dead on the road. It had been hit by a car, um, which sucks. That is just the worst. It's such torture when that happens, but um, it means that they're out and that they're moving, so I'm gonna keep cruising and maybe I'll get lucky and see one. We'll see. All right guys, and our next snake is another one of these glossy snakes. Pretty cool. I'm gonna get him off the road and keep going. 
All right, guys, tonight was so much fun. It was, oh, sh Ooh. I just saw a snake live right on the road. Let's go get it. Oh, come on, car, come on. Ooh, wonder what it's gonna be. It's a glossy snake. Another one. Oh, you're gonna be a feisty boy. Cool. All right, guys, that was crazy to see that glossy snake. Here he is again. Um, I actually saved him from whatever car was coming up. He was almost gonna get hit. Um, wow, super excited to be still seeing snakes. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let him go though. Let's get over here and let him go. Out of here, buddy. All right, guys, that was so much fun. Oh man, such an awesome night. I'm so excited to be seeing snakes again. So anyway, thank you so much for watching another episode of Snakes and Trails. We'll see you next week. Later.